hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you all for being here uh, i want to take you through my evening routine like uh, my evenings uh, are never the same i get to do different things through um, different evenings like uh, on this day i started by washing clothes and then i later on did my dishes and i prepared dinner so i'm going to start by washing clothes as you can see i'm just uh, adding soap to the machine and then i'm going to run the machine i'm also going to do a quick review on this uh twin tap uh, washing machine so if you're here and you're loving this video please give it a thumbs up like share also um leave a comment down below and i'll be glad to answer you to my returning subscribers and uh, my new subbies thank you so much for being here and if you're watching me for the very first time, can you consider subscribing? Also, guys, don't skip the ants because those are how I earn my revenue. So, can you watch uh, all ants? So, for this uh, twin tap machine, I've had it for about one year now. And so far, so good. I really don't have so much complaints so it works perfectly apart now from the point that you have to transfer your clothes from the wash tub to the spin tub which people find tiring i don't find the machine um i find the machine quite efficient it cleans clothes because if they are very dirty ones you just uh, pre-soak for a few hours you can also run the tub twice after washing so that uh, for the very dirty ones uh, they get cleaned up but so far so good i can't complain especially because i do wash our uh, kids clothes and the machine does its work uh, quite quite perfectly so after i'm done spinning i'm going to now just uh, hang my, my laundry i hope you get motivation to do your laundry i hope you get motivation to do uh, a few touch up in your house because sometimes we need motivation to do some uh, housework So guys, you can see that our place is quite, quite windy. So it's around 4 p.m. in the evening. And I'm sure by the time uh, we're going to bed, the clothes will already be dry. Because uh, that, windy, the, that windy weather makes uh, the clothes uh, to lose the moisture quite uh, quickly. So after I'm done with uh, the clothes, I normally do wash the machine. I don't let it uh, to sit with uh, the dirty water. I usually make sure to use the hose pipe to spray in water so that um, the machine I leave the machine clean for uh, the next wash. I normally wipe uh, the inside. After washing, I normally dry it up with the towel. And I also wipe on the outside to make sure that um, the machine remains dry. And then I usually clean up my laundry area. I clean up where the mas machine was. I also uh, clean up the bathroom because as I said, it's late in the evening. So I normally leave the place quite clean. And uh, as you can see, I'm cleaning up uh, the bathroom. 
and i'm going to now let the machine dry up because i've already done the most uh, drying so this is how everything turned out you can see it turned out clean and i'm happy the rotary area and the rotary machine uh, i left them clean so this is how it looks after cleaning so from here i'm in the kitchen uh, i have these utensils the breakfast utensils and for lunch i had gone to the salon so i didn't manage to wash the morning and uh, the lunchtime dishes and before i'm able to cook i need the sink to be clear because it's not easy to uh, just start cooking the evening uh, dinner uh, or preparing it when the sink is full like this i have to make sure i just uh, clear the dishes so that i'm able to even wash my vegetables i'm able to prepare a uh, supper so after i'm going to clean up this place and make sure that the sink is uh, clean so that i'm able to now start uh, preparing dinner so kindly keep it here and if you're liking this video kindly give it a thumbs up like and also share widely and i'll be grateful So guys, uh, to make it easier to wash my sufuria that I cooked ugali, I normally pre-soak it with water and then I use the bottle top to remove those uh, any meshkiria uko chini. I normally use the bottle top because I find it easier and it doesn't break your nails. So that is one of the things that I make um, work easier in the kitchen, the bottle top. I normally store it after, I normally clean it after washing so that I can reuse it next time when we cook ugali. And so guys, this is how my sink turned out, it turned out clean and I'm now ready to start preparing dinner because with clean spaces you feel even motivated to do work. So I hope this video gives you the motivation to clean up your space. So for dinner, I'm preparing ugali, greens and uh, beef stew. Here I am doing uh, the merengue leaves, the pumpkin leaves. I have terere and some uh, managu. Um, I don't remember their English names, but it is managu and uh, terere and uh, pumpkin leaves. I'm going to prepare them. For the pumpkin leaves, I always remove the fiber. You see what I am peeling that um, fiber like? If you remove it, your, your pumpkin leaves will not be hard. And they will not have that, um, it's, what's it called, a uh, chewy taste. Like you're chewing and uh, there's something else that you're chewing. They won't have that chewy taste. So I normally remove that fiber. These are the same pumpkin leaves that people use for mukimo. But now I'm doing just a little, a little of managu, a little of terere to just uh, have that um, uh, delightful taste in my mouth as uh, for my greens. So I'm going to cut them off. I don't know how to cut uh, while holding, so I normally use the chopping board to cut off my greens because um, I think that's a skill I never learned how to cut uh, your greens while holding them like mama mboga. But either way, as long as it is done, we are done. We are okay. So I'm going to now cut, chop the meat, and then I'm going to prepare it and cook it. Keep 
So I'm adding oil to the sufuria. I'm trying out a new a new recipe. I'm not boiling my meat. So I'm going to just add oil, add my spices and salt. Then I'll add my uh, meat and I'll let it to slow cook as um, it gains the flavors from the spices. So I have used uh, curry powder, garam masala and uh, mixed spices. And then I'm going to also add salt as I said and um, I'm going to add the meat so that it can get in the flavor from uh, the spices and the, the salt and I'm going to slow cook it till uh, it cooks. So I love trying out our new recipes and our new methods of cooking. You don't have to stick to one conventional way of cooking. You can get creative in the kitchen and uh, get some uh, really really good uh, uh, food and outcomes so after putting the meat i'm going now to turn it and let it to slow cook i'm not adding water at this point because when you add salt to meat it um, it removes its own water i don't know if remove is the right word but in a toa magiake so if you add uh, salt to the meat it it removes its own water so it cooks in its own water for uh, a few minutes until you are sure that your meat uh, is well cooked. On the other side, guys, I'm having a uh, water boiling for ugali because I want to, as I said, I'm preparing ugali, beef stew, and uh, greens. So I have my ugali water that is uh, getting ready to boil on the other side as I turn my meat. So as my meat uh, slow cooks, I'll be cooking uh, my ugali. So another thing that I got in my kitchen is that uh, kamata thing. You can see the one that I'm using to hold my sophoria. I didn't have it. I used to do my uh, holding of my sophorias with uh, a kitchen towel. But uh, this ca this uh, thing, I th it was called kamata when I was buying it. It has become quite handy because I love it. It's easy to now keep the ugali. You're able to mash any kind of food without um, the sophoria slipping because it holds the sophoria tightly. So that's how my meat is looking. You can see it's looking quite uh, delicious. I'm going to let it still continue cooking, but I'm going to add tomatoes and onion and then cover it so that it continues to cook uh, slowly. So guys, now I'm going to prepare the greens. I'm only going to fry onions, add salt. Uh, of course, I'm going to add curry powder and my greens. I'm not be adding tomatoes to the greens because uh, the beef stew already has uh, tomatoes, which I'm now mashing so that they can form that uh, thick soup on my beef stew. So for my greens, I'm not going to be using any tomatoes. And after I'm done with this, I'm now going to serve so that uh, we can enjoy the meal.
so guys if you have watched up to this uh, point thank you very much for the support i hope you have gotten motivation to work something on uh, your evening routine and uh, see you in my next video